Hi everyone, my name is Josh and I'm here with my family during this uh, homeschooling quarantine time and we're going to do a science experiment that may be something you can do at home if you think this is interesting. Look, I'm not a scientist, but like I totally nerd out over science and uh, we're going to do a little experiment here talking about rocks and different kinds of rocks that exist out in the world. This is Benjamin right there. That's Avery. These are my my um, ooh, kissers. All right, they're rock <laughs> rockyologists as well. And we're gonna get started. So here's what you need for uh, for this experiment. Basically, showing the kids uh, how sedimentary rock is made uh, over time. Now, obviously, we can't watch a rock turn into sedimentary rock over time. So we're gonna do it using chocolates. You want to get yourself a bar of white chocolate. You want to get yourself a bar of regular chocolate. Uh, Hershey's chocolate is the best. What? And you want to also, milk chocolate, and you also want to get a bar of dark chocolate. Now I also got a cookies and cream, and I'll explain to you why after I got this one, but mostly because it's white chocolate with the cookies inside the easy. Okay, That's cookies nice. inside it. I want you to get four different paper plates, and I want you to get four pieces of tin foil. And the last thing that you need is a cheese grater. Uh, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna teach them the lesson first, and then we're gonna do the experiment, all right? Guys, you ready? You ready? All right, here we go. Everybody say sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock. Over time, all of the sand and dirt and pebbles and shells, they start to go on top of each other, and it starts to form layers and layers and layers, kind of like a lasagna. Right? And layers and layers and layers. And that's called sedimentary rock. Kind of like limestone, something like this. Feel it. Feel it. Can I go? Sure. Is this one rough or is it smooth? On the bottom it's flat right. and smooth. But on the, t on the sides it's kind of rough. and. The so it's rough. It's not a, really a smooth rock. What's it. inside it? Do you notice anything inside the rock? What do you Sand. Notice? Kind of like little specks and dirt and sand, right? Yeah. Here, look at this one. This is a polished rock, so it's only smooth because it's polished. Mommy, but do you notice that the here, Ben? Look at this one. one. Do you notice? More. Look in there. Do you notice the different layers in there? How okay, it's like different colors it and has different layers. Yeah. Right. So that is what a sedimentary rock is. So here's what we're going to do. You're gonna take your cheese grater. You're gonna open up your chocolate chocolate I'm bar, dead. right? I'm, and I'm you are going to grate your whole bar of chocolate. Oh my god! Oh my god! Over your now, you might have to break it actually, but because you don't want it to break. But you want to basically make. You want to see what I'm doing right there? I'm basically making little bits of like pebbles. So imagine Wee. that these are different pebbles and different kinds of stone and sand. So I'm gonna let the kids do it a little bit, but what we're basically gonna do is make our own sedimentary rock by grating all your chocolate. So what I want you to do is take each bar of chocolate, grate it onto each paper plate. We'll come right back and we'll start to mix it together. Good way to have the kids help out because you know you don't want them to like risk cutting their fingers on the grater or just have her or him hold the grater for you on the top and then you want to just grate as much as you can chunky chocolate as you can but you know obviously for the little kids you don't want them to to cut their fingers but it does take time to do this so plan accordingly this isn't like a five minute experiment and i'll show you why because the end result actually takes you overnight to what you end up having to do to have your final result. Okay, we're almost done. Little tip, when you have like a toddler, three-year-old who's currently underneath the table play, playing with the rocks, <laughs> it might be a good idea to give him some of his own chocolate to play with or his own rocks, because he's currently having a temper tantrum. But we're almost done grating all our, our rocks into different fine, different grades and colors of sedimentary chocolate. Oh my God. Okay, so as you can see, we grated up all our chocolate in the in the cheese grater. Uh, it's a little bit more labor intensive than you might think. It does take a few extra minutes. This is not an experiment that takes just two minutes, but you really want to grate it up. We also learned that the hard that the dark chocolate was the hardest chocolate, right? 
Yes, right. this one. Why is it the hardest or the, the best one to grade? Why is it the easiest one to grade? Because it has less milk in it. Right, very good. Now, also, what do you notice about any of these rocks and any of these chocolates right um, here? Because this rock looks like exactly like the, this chocolate. Like the cookies and cream? Right. Right, right. so there's a good chance that this rock was a little bit of a sedimentary rock because it has different kinds of stones in it. Right. But also, it has some crystals in it, so it may also be a metamorphic rock like formed under a lot of pressure. Oh, that's interesting because that's what we're going to do today. We're going to create a sedimentary rock that also is formed under time or pressure in this case. Are you ready? Also, can somebody tell me what they notice about the different chunks in the chocolate? What do you notice? The size of the pieces, maybe. Mm. So this is kind of uh, smaller yeah. than this one because these pieces in, in the soft chocolate right. is kind of medium sized, okay. and this one yeah. is... Much, much right. Smaller. So this one has like little finer ones that could maybe be like pebbles or so sand at a beach. And yeah. these has little bigger chunks here uh, that could also be maybe like little stones or rock. And that's all part of what makes up yeah, sedimentary it's, rock it's, it's like, that forms uh, over time. Limestone is an example of sedimentary rock. Yeah. And this is also to show how the chunks can be different colors and different sizes, kind of like how this rock is too. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our sedimentary rock. What you wanna do is you wanna have everybody have a piece of tin foil. Okay, Benjamin has one and Avery has one. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to put one little layer of each color. Which color do you wanna go first? That one. All right, let's do a brown first. I'm sorry, can we do a brown first? Okay, so I want you to just help me with the plate. Hold the plate. Uh, hold the plate. I want you to help me sprinkle just a little layer here for your chocolate. Ben, let's, let's do Ben. No, 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 don't spread. The whole point is that we're making layers. We want it to be actually not spread around. We want it to be come back and together. Help me. Right, exactly. Help me with it. Benny doesn't. All right, you'll help me with that one. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to put just a little bit, good job, Benjamin. Now let's get the, uh, let's get the it's white. Like let's do white next, okay? Come on, help me. We're gonna put, we wanna cover, you wanna cover the whole layer that you just put down, okay? The whole point is that you cover it almost kinda like you're spicing some meat or something. Benny, help me too, okay? Come on. Good, Benny, good, good job. Good, you wanna get it nice? Good, good. Okay, let's do a brown again now. Uh, you know what, no, yeah, we'll do a brown now. How? Let's do this. Okay, good, this is the dark chocolate now, right, Eve? Right? Dun, 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 that's dun, enough, dun. that's enough, that's enough. Okay, <laughs> and you're gonna help me too, Ben. Help me do the dark. Is okay, you know what, we'll save a little bit of the dark for the end. Look at how it's turning into layers here. Now we're gonna put the cookies and cream. Help me, help me. Come on, come on, good. Thank you, oh. Okay, Benny's turn, coming up. Three-year-old, okay, here you go. Come on, good job, put it all on the top. Whoa, oh, and then we have a little bit of dark left. And we're gonna put a little bit, I'll do it here, just a little bit. A little bit there. Okay, now here's the last piece to the puzzle, okay? This is what you want to do. You're going to take your, help me, you're going to take your tin foil and you're going to fold it over on one side. Okay, nice and put your hand here, right? Not on the chocolate, just the tin foil. You're going to take the other side, fold it over, fold this part here like this. This part, fold, fold right here. Okay, now, while I'm helping Ben, I want you to go in your bedroom and find the biggest, biggest book that you can find, the thickest book. Go find a book, go in your bedroom, come. You go, I'm gonna help Benny fold. Get two books, get one for Ben too. Right, fold it, good, and fold it. Good, now fold this side, good, good, and now, good, good job, come. A Benny, a Benny, a, a big, 
Yeah, you go get a big book too. Okay, they're gonna go get some big books and then we're gonna have the best fun of this whole entire experiment because while they're home and they need something to do that's exciting and food related, and science related and activity related, you're gonna see we're gonna do some really cool stuff by putting these sedimentary rocks in some books and we're gonna jump on them. Okay, we got our book. Show the big book that you got. I got, I like my Right, and Benjamin got integrated mathematics. It's an algebra book because the one he got was too loud speaking. So this is what we're going to do. Ben, open the book any way you want. Any way you want. Avery, open your book any way you want. Now take your sedimentary chocolate rock and put it right in the middle. Put it in. Good. Now close your book. Okay, now take it and put it on the floor. Come here. Come here. Take your book. Come on, Eve. There you go. All right, bring it on the floor. Here we go. You ready? Everybody finds your book. Benny's over here. Avery's over here. And jump on your book! Jump on your book. Jump on your book. Jump on your book. Jump on your book. Nice and tight. Jump on that book. Make it nice and hard. As much pressure as you can. And after they get about two to three minutes just jumping on the books. What you want to do is you want to go and put it under something like really heavy, uh, a cabinet or just like a can of a tomato sauce or something, something nice and heavy that they can push down on. And then in the morning or the next day or a few hours later, whenever you do your experiment, after lunch, not before lunch, you can open up your sedimentary rock and we're going to see what it looks like on the inside, okay? Keep jumping! Jump, 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 jump! Science! Say science! Science! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are back to day two of our sedimentary rock chocolate experiment. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes and same hat because it's quarantine time and who cares. Um, okay, so we took our sedimentary rock, we put, we shaved all the chocolate and we yeah. layered it down. We put it in between, yeah, right? We put it in the books. What did we do on the books? We jumped on it so it could be nice and flat. Nice and flat. We did pressure. Right. So the sedimentary rock layers, we added pressure, which is a little bit like a metamorphic Stop rock. It. Sorry, I'm holding it. But we are going to now <laughs> see what happens. Now, all I want you to do is just open. Don't do anything Very with gentle. it. Open, Mom. Get the, get the video. Look at this. What does yours look like? Right. Now, what you see is like one of those rocks we saw yesterday that had all the different sediments and all the different pebbles and rocks. But here's where the experiment Play, pays off. You ready? We're gonna pick it up. Look at how thick it is. Look at how thick. It's not very thick. And now we're gonna break it. Now, what do you notice in there? What do you notice? It has all the layers. Different layers. This is how sedimentary rock is formed. We put all the chocolate on the bottom, then a little bit of white, then a little bit of uh, dark chocolate, then we put some cookies and cream and more. And those layers are exactly how sedimentary rock is formed on our earth. Now, the only difference between sedimentary rock and sedimentary chocolate is what? My turn. My turn. Can you eat sedimentary rock? No. Can you eat sedimentary chocolate? Yes. Have a bite. <laughs> what about you, Booba? Yeah. Get yours. Sediment. This is a good one too. Look at how that I'm spread out. Take a bite. One. Let me see. Mm. Mm. See the different layers? And that is your at-home sedimentary rock science experiment. It takes about a day. It's a little messy, Daddy. but it's a lot of fun. And it's delicious. And you get to have fun with it. Okay? Wait, Daddy, is that mine? No, it's mine. Happy quarantine!